So I'm finally done all the stuff that I need to get done for, I think it's this way. I'm finally done all the stuff that I need to get done for going to work or starting training, I should say, on the Thursday or Friday. So now I just have two free days to do nothing. Yay. Um, right now I'm trying to walk back to my place so that I can drop off my stuff. And then I'm going to go out to meet Chris and Brooke, two of the other teachers who are training with me. Um, we're going to go to Harajuku. I don't really know what else, what else we're going to do today. And I just go exploring, just do a little bit of that. But right now I'm heading over to 7-Eleven to get some breakfast. I just bought an umbrella um, at that 7-Eleven. I bought some onigiri, uh, which are Japanese rice balls. I bought some water to drink, just because I'm thirsty. And then I got this umbrella, which I got just in time because it just started raining. It's a clear umbrella, I love clear umbrellas. But yeah, so again, I'm going back to my place, dropping off my stuff, gonna eat a little bit and then head off. <laughs> back home um today was another really really long day um but i'm making the most of my time here so that's good um the three days off or the three days that i have before going to training or starting training so it's been good it's been a lot of fun gone to know some of the other girls some of the other my other co-workers better and met up with them at the flower cafe which was really really nice actually um i love flowers so that was a really nice touch kind of the day we had brunch there and i had fruit tea as well as french toast um then we continued on around harajuku 
went to um, the Micro Pig Cafe. We went to the Sailor Moon store. And then we also went to the Line store. So I got... I got this this cookie headband for when I wash my hair or wash my face, do anything like that before going to bed, as well as a Koya AirPod case. Then we had conveyor belt sushi. And then now I'm back at home. It's about 7.30 in the evening on Wednesday, March the 4th. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Bye. So I guess I'm alone today. No one really made any concrete plans. So I just went off on my own. I'm trying to go see the Tokyo Tower or at least find somewhere where I can take a good picture of it. Not necessarily go up it, but I didn't get a good picture of the last time I was here. So I wanna go this time, but I'm walking through Chiba Park, which is apparently a good spot to see Tokyo Tower. To show you a little bit of it. One second. I see the buildings in the background. But so much green. It's kind of spitting. I don't know if you can see, but I can definitely feel it. But anyways, I'm kind of hiking up this this area, so we'll see how it goes. So I'm hiking back down because I feel like I'll probably get a better picture of Tokyo Tower from, oh my gosh, from down below. I can't multitask, clearly. It's me looking at the camera and not looking where I'm going. I definitely feel like I'm about to fall down these, these makeshifts, makeshift steps. But ooh, I can see the tower. I'm trying to find the best area to take it. I just don't know really where to go, but I mean, I have all day. Perfect. I can see it. Better, at least. Wow, I am so out of shape. But I found this really cute seating area. Sitting area, seating area, whatever. I'm gonna stop, have my my pan, my pan, melon pan, etc. And then continue on trying to find the best place to take this photo. But I can still see it from where I am. So I'm eating melon pan. Melon pan. Melon pan. Melon pan. I think, that's how you I think that's how you pronounce it. But never had before. It tastes really good. I thought it was gonna be like melony. I didn't actually know what mel melon bread was, but it's just kind of like a sweet bread and it tastes really, really good. I'm gonna have to go back to this bakery a couple times. It's actually right by my station. So in the mornings, you know, just grab one of these, but it's really, really good. Ta -ta. So just saying, I'm not a fan of Japanese cornbread. It's not the same as American, North American cornbread. We're gonna skip this one and try next one. It's not bad, the aftertaste is, taste isn't that bad, but so far, this one's a pass for me. This is my next bread. I have no idea what it is. I couldn't read the katakana or the kanji, so it just, but it just kind of looks like there's cheese on it. Oh, my plastic's falling. It just looks like there's some cheese on it, so. Maybe it's just a cheese bread. I don't know. We'll try it out. So someone came and was sitting in the area. I really don't know how that happened. But thank goodness I'm using this case. 
because only the case seems to have been scratched up. Can't believe I was caught on camera. But uh, let's start over. Anyways, take two. Um, uh, someone came and was sitting in the area, so I couldn't film me eating my cheese pun. Pun. Again, I'm pretty sure it was just a cheese bread, a cheese bun, so, but it was very good, very, very good. I quite enjoyed that one too, so, in the mornings, my menon pan and my, oh, I can't remember how to say cheese. My last pan, um, again, some kind of cheese, pig in a blanket type situation. It's not bad, not the greatest. I think I prefer the one without the, the pig inside, the hot dog inside. So it's super windy, so I don't know if you can hear me, but I think I'm in the Ginza area. I just bought a water filter and now I want to go back to the Nitori in this area to get a mirror for my room because I don't want to have to keep going into the hallway to, to do my hair or makeup every day. So this has to be the most intense Muji I've ever seen in my life. I don't even know where to go. It's like five or six floors, like I'm so, like how? Cool, I guess it's dried food. I wanna go to the Nitori, but I don't know how to get inside this building. I finally figured out where to go. I'm in some building. Um, I'm totally windswept right now, so. Oh, here's the elevator. We're going up to the Nitori. What did it say? Fifth floor, fifth floor. Oh, 